Okay, so, um, here we're really starting off with the, uh, line of really strange, uh, PS1 fighting games, and this one I've been talking about for quite a while because it's kind of a doozy, this one. So, um, luckily we do have a survival and training, uh, mode, which, um, is notable because one of the hidden characters can only be chosen in versus and training. God only knows why, but, uh, we'll be taking a look at him uh, probably a little later, but for now, let's not play as every single character in tough guy mode. So, uh, unfortunately, this guy's alternate costume is, well, just a palette swap, but... So... Roll! Whoa! Let me just... Okay. Uh, I don't play as this guy that much, so, uh... But... Yeah, if, uh, the gimmick is, uh, a lot of the cast that come from a lot lineage of demons and angels. There is a way to do, like, a triple power bomb with this guy, but I already forgot the command. So instead, have this. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we only have the, uh... Some stuff out. Uh, we only have the match over win poses. Uh, some of the round one, uh, round one ones are pretty good. But, uh, maybe we'll take a tour of our kid mode. But for now, uh, the butt! Alright, he had a drop kick. Just kind of a monkey that grunts, and then occasionally does power bombs. All right, um, let's go with this guy. This guy has an interesting gimmick going on, um, in that he can actually climb on the ceilings of the stages. Which, uh, he, of course, cannot do in the stages that have no ceilings. And yeah, uh, all the evil characters have Lunar specialty and the good guy's soul. It's like there's this weird lore thing going on with this game, but... Alright, we got it. And of course, he just super armored it, or... God, why is it lagging? Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of a screechier Voldo. Uh, and, oh yeah, Vold from Fighting Layer 2 in that way. I don't quite remember some of the moves for these characters, but I know... Most of their supers, I think. Once we start going into like Aho and Sasa, that's when I start uh So this guy's basic is actually really good because you can just combo it from the basic punches and it does loads of damage. <laughs> Which is always good. Also fun fact about this guy's voice. 
Brought to you by Ryu from Street Fighter Alpha. <laughs> he also voices like no! two other characters Whoa. in this game, but yeah. Ready, play. <laughs> He had a combo that I, I swear to God, I knew the command for, and it's just not coming out. He does have another super, though. Which is not really that remarkable. <laughs> also, I don't know why the uh, blood is blue, but yeah. Uh, basically, you gain access to, uh, like, really powerful... <laughs> also, holy crap. Um, really powerful uh, moves that you can't do outside of the mode. Uh, sometimes it gets a little gimmicky. I think one character is you can actually drain some of your health. guy can actually teleport. <laughs> it gets a little nutty, but, uh... So there's actually a hidden character within her character slot, but, uh, we'll get to that later. None of this! No! Whoa! Let's be flat! <laughs> Seems like sur survival mode is just fighting the same characters, but... Yeah, there we go. It seems like everybody has the same basic jab thing going on, but... <laughs> Good job, Jin. enough denim jackets no. to play in a game. Whoa. I'd say this design would be pretty cool if she had, like, pants. But, you know. You can't expect too much from fighting games, I guess. Or games in general. But... I don't remember what her secret was. Oh! <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Also, everybody has uh, lose poses. Uh, and some of them are pretty good, like that one. Also, that kick is really good. <laughs> Her kicks. Some of the some of the commands for. Some of the, I guess, special moves are a little weird. Oh, yeah! Yeah, this game has a distinction of looking like uh, there's going to be a ring out, but usually there isn't. Uh, there is a option you can turn on for certain modes. Good. I imagine I'm going to be dying to this guy a lot. Games don't have enough characters that can like crawl across the ceiling as a super. Dolfer is really quite 
something. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't have anything funny to put in here. Okay, so within her hidden character slot, which, uh, by the way, I want to point out the art for her alternate portrait, because it kind of just looks like they got her 3D model, took a snapshot of it, and edited over it. I don't know what it is about it, I think it's mainly the hair, but something about it looks very off to me. But, we can also play as this character from Power Instinct. She basically plays almost the same as Nana Sai, except she, like, does stuff with her hammer. Luckily, she also has the, uh, kick thing. Yeah, so this was, uh, this was developed by Atlas, so, uh, it's not- but, or, No, it was published by Atlas, it, uh, it was developed by the people that did Critical Blow. But, um, yeah, I guess, uh, that just get, you know, that gave him the leeway to, uh, add a guest character. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it's not Kintaro. No! Whoa! If <laughs> <Man>. only <laughs> this game had karaoke stages. Yeah, there we go. Sound early. Oh yeah, it does kind of really look like a game off. I always remember Gantetsu more, but you know. uh, it's bothering me. I don't know what her secret move is, but hey. So, um, honestly, it reminded me that, uh, there's a couple of characters in this, um, and their voices are just flanger versions of other characters. Like, the plant lady you'll hear is just Nanase's voice, but it has, like, weird effects on it. I'm not sure why they did that, but hey. <laughs> Hey, I beat Dolphur, so... <laughs> yeah, it's gonna do that thing. The emulator, for some reason, just kinda hangs on loading every now and then, but... No! Whoa! Let me play! And, uh, let's, uh, go into Atlas's usual, uh, cultural sensitivity with a oh. hoe. Jesus. Uh... Now, for how goofy everything is about Aho, including his name, um, he's actually insanely fun to play. Uh, he has like five different types of throws. Uh, he's got just good combos all across the board, really. Barely manages that one. <laughs> It's kind of a bummer that survival mode has like a fixed ladder in this game, but hey. No! Whoa! And this is the character that kicks my ass every single time I fight against her. <laughs> he does look like a relative of Tal. Uh, like Tal, uh, however you pronounce that guy's name. Game Rumor! Oh yeah, that's the stage that actually, like, it starts from the bottom, 
of the ocean, and then it comes up to the surface. I'm gonna have to play arcade mode just for that. There's some interesting designs in the stages here. His alt uh, costume is a little, uh... Hmm. It's, uh, interesting. <laughs> Low. Whoa. I do appreciate the, uh, amount of denim with these characters, though. Also, he has a pretty cool throw that, uh, I hope I can remember how to do. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Uh, he has one of the best basic super attacks in this game. <laughs> I love how almost everyone in this game has like a drop kick or a, or a uh, moon salt kind of thing. <laughs> I love how he's like ashamed, but he's on fire. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this guy's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I think it might just be the polygons going nuts, but it kind of looks like he has like this scar in his no! face. Whoa. I know for a That's fact that it ain't that though, because uh, I looked in the textures, there is no, uh, there's no scar in his face. Jesus, that does a lot of damage too. <laughs> I like this stage too. Uh, apparently, it's in the sewers, which uh, uh, this is the cleanest looking sewer I've ever seen. <laughs> I love that throw because it just looks like he's kind of confused at first. Coder problems, thank you. So, um, another similarity with Power Instinct is that, uh, Jesus, uh, the Power Up thing, uh, it makes them invulnerable for a split, for those couple of seconds. Uh, it does not hurt them, though. Surprisingly. <laughs> um. Whoa. I didn't see anything in the textures, but there's definitely something weird going on with him in-game. Yeah, well... <laughs> well, your new name... is... this guy who, um, I don't really have much to say about him other than, uh, I appreciate the fact that John Talbain's dog is in his emblem there. Also, he's a demon. Uh, just, you know, because. Uh, I don't know what game was made first, though. 
think they were made around the same time, really. So this guy's kind of nondescript in terms of play style, if you remember, right? <laughs> like his throw is just mad. <laughs> I, I do remember him having some nice kicks, though. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, okay. No, she ah, oh, Jesus. Oh. Get the camera Get angle on the <laughs> the losing character animation. It's a little strange. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with this outfit because uh, it has more clothes. Funny. make a gif of the one super throw that she does, which is like, it reminds me a lot of Angel from Tekken. <laughs> uh, not that. Ah. Maybe we'll get to see it, maybe not. <laughs> died in the first character. <laughs> but this character, too, she's like really good, but I'm just like making a mockery of her, Try that again. <laughs> that ended way too early. And I actually care about playing her in like uh and getsu. And... Let's just do the main costume just for variety's sake. No! Whoa! It's a lot worse, but hey. This is this is apparently what demon ladies uh, dress like. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll get back to her later. <laughs> Boy, I don't know what was going on there. Alright, uh, this is where the roster starts to really get a little strange. So, uh, this, you might recognize me being my icon, uh, on just about everything now. Uh, the problem is, even though the artwork here looks cooler, uh, she's wearing way less clothes, so, um, let's just pick the main one for now. But yeah, she's she's the one who just has not a safe voice, but it's weirdly flanged. And yeah, that's the health drain, which does a lot of damage. In fact, uh, if it actually heals, uh, <laughs> we might be on to something here. What a friggin' weird character. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Let me play. 
for some reason. <laughs> Stage like a pinball there. No, whoa, every play. Actually, do too good by there. Funny how that works sometimes. Alright, um. Uh, the music's freaking out a little, don't mind that. Uh, so. <laughs> first, you have that portrait, which is pretty great. Then you have that portrait, which is terrifying. Oh, oh! So let's go over that one. No! Whoa! Every So this dude has like a lot of moves. Yeah, the one where he goes, oh no! <laughs> He has like a bear hug, he has uh, a punch throw that you can uh, do continuously. I think he has like a giant swing move. Like both of these two are just like the wrestlers of the game, but they play kind of differently. Ah! Also he has a move where he fucks up. <laughs> That's his basic super? What? Alright. This guy's starting to piss me off. No! <laughs> Whoa! Every play! I don't know if he actually has a combo for that jab punch. Or that jab string, I should say. <laughs> I was really hoping I could just trap her in that. <laughs> It's like every time I try to show off some of the cool shit these characters can do, that's when I get my ass kicked. <laughs> he apparently didn't enjoy powering up, though. <laughs> Alright, 
well, I had to take some of these characters in the training mode to kind of just play around with. Um, so this is one of the final bosses. Now, he's not really that, uh, aside from the fact that his teeth seem to be too small for his mouth, he's not really that notable of the final boss design. But then he also has that costume, so, uh, we're gonna go with that. And his name's Geezer. Now, he's essentially... A mashup character, for the most part, with a ridiculously good super. And that... That it covers this much area. Yeah. He's kind of a dick, this guy. <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of two-faced, just way more bizarre. <laughs> also, he does kind of play like a Mishima in a weird way. He's got some of the same punches. Because, of course, I just thought of Devil, but, yeah. Yeah, the f thing is with that super, it's insanely good, but it just drains all of the energy, like, instantly. So... Honestly, a lot of the roster's gender is unknown, and uh, that's especially apparent here because uh, this character's costume does not usually have breasts, so I don't know why this costume has breasts. I don't uh, see why they had to add that, considering what this no! costume is, Whoa. but, you know, <laughs> welcome to hell, I guess. <laughs> Also, they have, uh, they have KSK's kick, uh, super kick for really no reason, <laughs> but, that is true. <laughs> uh, this is way a lot more memorable, though, I have to say, whereas Javatma's was just kind of like, Falcoon is horny again. That's about it, really. <laughs> I'm trying to do the kick one, but I can do this. So something that you won't see in this mode is that this and the other boss with wings, uh, you cannot actually ring out. Uh, if you knock them out of the ring, they will fly back up and. Uh, do a flying attack at you. So. And yeah. No. <laughs> Whoa. Heavy the mission of a bloodline is fucked up, man. Although I think it, it, that might just be from Engetsu. So. <laughs> Actually, a lot of this, uh, his moves are from Engetsu, including the Lariat, I think. <laughs> uh, please stop doing that camera view, I don't know. Hey, we're at Verney. Maybe I can actually beat her this time. What's this? Is there a normal throw? Oh! It's one of our house throws. That's just the I win button. <laughs> or move. Uh, actually, we haven't gotten the one known yet. That's really a. <laughs> Do not bring Skullgirls into this. <laughs> Even though they totally would, uh, you know, approve of the cleavage no! addition to this Whoa! costume. 
Like him. I'm just gonna pass out here. I also like the effect that none of the portraits really have like effects in the background, but this one does just to make it extra, like you know, just to make it stand out even more because that's clearly what it needs to do. this character, who also fucks up the uh, music, uh, her, it's like with her and Ngetsu, um, they just kind of just edited the normal artwork, which is kind of a shame considering, you know, everything else, but, yeah, um, I know. so, you know, um, I like this design a lot better than the one from Tekken. I mean, it helps that she's wearing clothes, but... I, just, I, I like the palette a lot, too. So, the thing is... She has this super. It's full screen, as far as I can tell. And it does that effect. That's really all you need to know about that super. <laughs> Heaven is apparently full of jerks. Oh yeah, she had this really cool looking uh, super throw. But she would just like snap their neck. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can do it. Yeah. Jesus. It's like... It's like the floating effect, the fact that it has to kind of just stay under the ceiling kind of undermines it, but, you know, it's a good little touch anyway. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it does so much damage, too. I think it does more damage than the other one, which, I mean, makes sense, but... I also appreciate the, um... Whatever it is. You call it on her back. Thing that the gods have. That's gonna be the question of the night. What are the six called? <laughs> God, it's like you still have super left over for the other one. <laughs> Yeah, that thing. <laughs> yeah, you might notice some weird model tearing going on, especially with this character for some reason. Um, I noticed that it also happens in the arcade version from what little I saw of it, so who knows. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the best uh, feature of this game. Oh, well, uh, we'll have to... <laughs> Seems really happy about that. Um... Uh, 
So the thing is, with Dolfer having that super where he can crawl around the ceiling, uh, he cannot do it in those stages. So if you fight against a ho, geezer, unknown, and that hidden character that I can't play as right now, uh, you can't do that move. It's a little dumb. Jesus, Bernie. Get! Okay, so... Little known thing, aside from, you know, this game itself, is that you can actually just uh, manipulate the camera in mid-game if you want. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what, like, up and down is. So... Yeah, uh, I guess if you wanted, you know, just clean shots of the models, uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm not- I knew- I knew somebody was gonna say something! <laughs> I meant to zoom in on Sas uh, Sasa's face, cause it's, uh... are unknown. And now, lastly, uh, a hidden boss that you can only confront by confronting Sasa and then perfecting her. It's the only way this character shows up. Notice his specialty. Um, this design looks a lot like something that would come out of mutant DNA, so I like it a lot. And here's another thing I like. All these characters, except for, you know, uh, not, uh, Kuara, uh, they have their names announced by the announcer in a pretty dorky way, as you've heard. With this character, not so much. That's what you get. Also, the other weird thing about this character is that his voice is a heavily flanger version of Jin's. God only knows. I'll see he has this. Uh, he does not have super, like, at all, though. Since I guess his specialty of I love Sasa does not grant him any special powers. That actually kind of, like... <laughs> that actually kind of, like, made me think... I don't know... Thanks to that, I don't know how to pronounce this character's name. No. Dibid? 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 No one knows. Also, uh, unsurprisingly, he just plays a lot like Sasa. She, she had a couple of wrestling moves. He's made out of ground meat. But this. <laughs> it's like his skin's not really skin. It's just like. I don't know. <laughs> you have to wonder why this character never makes it in the top 10 of the biggest busts in the gaming list. Mm. <laughs> Wait 
is just run into that, I guess. <laughs> shoots lasers into them is the only original thing that he actually has. Yeah, it kinda was. Game over. Okay, so, um... Poor David? David? David. Okay, so, some exclusive uh, things in Training and Versus for some reason. This character, who has four all old outfits. Um... We're zero. We're zero. He just has Kiyosuke's voice. The stage is a hotel with this Animal Crossing-ass uh, sounding music. And uh, he pretty much plays like a lot like Kiyosuke. Uh, he doesn't have any super, though. I think he has a couple of unique throws, though. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, game. Alright, well. That works, too. So, not really that much to say about this guy. We aren't done with Dibbit, though. He has a secret third outfit. He loves Sasa so much that he will now become Sasa. His eyes are way too big, and, uh... It's like this guy's head and his neck don't make any sense. Hey, well, um, let's try some arcade mode. Maybe we'll get somewhere. Let's pick the embarrassing costume with the cool art. I cropped out the embarrassing bit, of course, but... And it's still Jin for the first character. Glad to see that's not changed at all. <laughs> and yeah, uh, sometimes it... Sometimes right now it's happening. Uh, like I said, that's actually a setting that you can uh, change. So. I forgot how to do that super. What the hell? I swear it was just like. Oh, uh, God, that's gonna bother me. So let me look it up really, really quick. Because, I mean, if I'm going arcade mode, it's, it's just gonna bother me. What the hell was that that just flew by? Alright. Yeah, that's what I was doing! Ugh. Alright. Yeah, know that, know that. Alright. Also, I, yeah, I like how the plant people are Americans. Uh, apparently we're doing weird shit with plants over here. God. Now 
Let's see if I can get him. No, I guess not. But <laughs> oh, here's this little thing you can do. You can actually just run to the edge, and if you don't let go, it'll just skip the windows. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ready, play! <laughs> wow, with ring else, this game's suddenly really easy. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I guess ring out was more of an afterthought. <laughs> questions that aren't getting answered about this game. No! Whoa! Every play! Like she's just super good at juggling. Well, I'm not gonna time it though is the problem. Sorry that I just kind of faded off. I realized how little sleep I've actually gotten in the past couple days. As I can tell, that does not heal me. But it does a lot of damage, though. So there is that. Also, I think he's dead now. No. Whoa. So what I wonder is, it's got the whole gimmick with like. Half the cast are like angels and demons and stuff. But then there's just like plain and bug people. And it's just kind of. This is kind of an odd choice, but. God, does everything have the same ladder? I 
Actually, I might cut it off after this, because I really... <laughs> I'm in dire need of food right now. Uh, uh, I'm gonna let Dolphur beat me, though, because he has a great win pose. that, uh, you know, with Solar and Lunar and stuff, uh, it actually has the sun and moon that pops up. Wait, why is he just standing there? Alright, well. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um, I'm gonna, like, grab a sandwich or something. Um, that was that game that I've been obsessed with for like a million years. But, uh... Alright, um... I will be back shortly. Uh... See you in a couple of minutes.